Hey everyone, um, make sure not to fall off, um, whoa, whoa, ah, wait, did you see that? Yep, you're right, it's a cloud, the cloud releases here, 1.21.03. This major release includes the ability to back up world files automatically to OneDrive in the cloud. Additionally, this release includes the Tricky Trials update on, from our Bedrock game. Watch out for those pesky breezes. Today, we'll be going over setting up OneDrive for Minecraft education, how to upload your world, how to see your cloud saved worlds, how to view your worlds in OneDrive, and how to restore previous versions of your world. To ensure you have OneDrive attached to your account, see our troubleshooting guide on our support page here. There is also a link for this page in-game. First, I'll show you how my world is backed up to the cloud when I click save and exit. Here I am in my world and I'm going to hit escape and again save and exit so you can see it's saving the world and uploading to the cloud. And now it's complete. So now I'm back in my worlds. It's syncing to check what's in OneDrive. On this screen, I can see all the worlds in the cloud and locally. If the world is only on my device, it will show a placeholder image on these worlds and an icon that represents the state you may choose to download the file or for a later or play directly which will prompt the world download to your device for use right away. Worlds now have an icon that represents the state of the local file. Red and yellow icons represent a few states which are not in sync with the cloud. Should, these should resolve with the latest version of the world once you open the world to play in settings, cloud storage. There's a button that links your OneDrive folder in Minecraft Education directly to see your files. So we scroll down to the cloud storage and here you can see the setting to enable or disable OneDrive if you have issues with access. Also, here's the link directly to your worlds on OneDrive. When you go here, you're seeing the worlds that are on the cloud and if you have been using any other devices, they would be in the same folder. To restore a previous version, you can go back to version history and select the date and time that you would like to roll back to. Then you just click on that one and select restore. Thanks so much for watching this video on our exciting new cloud update. We look forward to hearing your experiences and again, watch out for those breezes.